I just had a run in with Nicholas. Mm -hmm. And I told him how disgusted I am with what he's doing to Michael and the Quartermains. I just, I really wish there was something I could do about it. Maybe there is. Patrick, can I call you back? Okay, bye. When you said that you wanted to undo what Nicholas did to Michael, were you serious or were you just venting? Well, Nicholas is family. But, but so is Michael. It's not like Michael stopped being family just because Jason has died. He was special to Jason. He's special to me. Yeah, yeah, actually, I meant, I meant what I said. Why? Good. Because I think there might be a way that we can get Michael's company back from Nicholas. I, I would love for Michael to be reinstated at ELQ. That place means everything to him, and he was doing a really good job as CEO. I just don't think that Nicholas is going to give up his majority state willingly. Who said anything about willingly? What do you mean? Well, we know that Nicholas blackmailed Tracy's granddaughter into giving him her shares. Right, but we can't blackmail Nicholas if Brooklyn is going to make a statement to the police. She does not have to be involved. Okay, well, what are you suggesting? We need a Nicholas, what he did to Brooke. We blackmail him, and that's where you come in. I was supposed to help Michael stop whoever was gunning for ELQ. We know how that turned out. Well, no one was suspecting Nicholas. Point is, I owe Michael, and I would like to help him get his company back, but the only way to do that is to coerce Nicholas into stepping down. Okay, so basically, you want me to dig up dirt on my cousin? Nicholas just isn't going to give up the shares. He's going to have to be coerced. Are you comfortable with that? Nicholas's family. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I'm, I'm okay with it. The question is, are you? What do you mean? How are you going to be plotting against Elizabeth's oldest friend? Well, she was here when I got into it with Nicholas. She knows I want to get the company back from Michael. She just doesn't need to know all the details. Are you comfortable with that? But Nicholas has no problem manipulating people who trust him. And I don't want him taking advantage of their relationship for information. She can't tell him what she does or not. Yeah, I just I don't know if there's going to be much leverage there because Nicholas has actually been a decent guy. Oh, come on. He's been a decent guy? What about your husband's wedding ring? Why did he never tell you that he had it? His son was in the hospital. He was yeah. had other things to okay, do. Okay, sure, yeah. So it never crossed his mind at all during those few weeks that he had your dead husband's wedding ring. Why would he keep that from you? Wait, what are you, what are you saying? Are you saying that Nicholas is keeping secrets about Jason from me? I'm not saying that Nicholas knows anything about Jason specifically, but a lot of what he's said, a lot of what he's done, it doesn't add up. True. Okay, well, we both want to help Michael. And I think exposing some of the skeletons in Nicholas's closet might do the trick. Okay, so do you think the best way for us to do that is to team up? That's what I'm thinking. What do you say, Ian? Yeah. I'm in. Everything will be all better 